Guess who's back in the house? I hope that you guys are having a lovely day. I have not been on camera. I have not been on live in about two weeks. Um, I've been so busy um, at work and I've been exhausted, but I, um, ha I watched Drag Race last week. Um, I watched it at a bar in West Hollywood. But when I got home, good morning. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Um, when I got home, I was exhausted. And so um, I am halfway asleep. But I'm going to force myself to go through this review of Drag Race Episode 4. Can you guys believe that we have one more episode until the grand finale of Drag Race UK. I can't believe it. Uh, this season uh, is significantly short than the rest of the Drag Race shows. Not sure why, uh, but it's really short. And so we're at top four, which is Baga. Um, oh my gosh, the Vivian. Davina and Cheryl Hole. And so it, of the top four, Davina has two Rue badges. Cheryl has zero. The Vivian and Baga are tied at three. It is very close at this point. And so unfortunately, Blue Hydrangea left the previous episode and Blue and Cheryl performed um, at the lip sync against each other. And it was so cool that Cheryl Hole got to perform in front of Cheryl Cole, who she impersonates um, at her home bar. And, um, and so that was pretty cool. And so as we jump into this episode, the girls remind Baga that Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. I really appreciate that. Um, the uh, girls remind Baga that she was ready to pack her bags last week uh, because she felt so defeated. And um, she was really upset that she didn't know the words to the lip sync. But then Baga says, no, I didn't know two lines. I was prepared to give my all and lip sync. And so the girls are like frustrated with her because of the lies and deceit. And so that was a, a, re a, a really interesting way to start off this episode with um, a fight between the girls. And, but it was actually an interesting way to set it up because there was some foreshadowing for the end of the episode. And so for the mini challenge, we have the Puppet Bitch Fest. You know, Rue loves puppets. And so we had some really cute moments. And so the winner of the mini challenge is Davina, but I actually thought that it was going to be the Vivian. The Vivian uh, received a Davina puppet and she was so hilarious and so i i okay so i missed uh the fifth episode uh which was the day of halloween so i, I didn't catch the episode but i assume that michelle gave davina a critique that she looks gray so the vivian at one point like dusted um her puppet with like baby powder and it was hilarious um and so they learned for the maxi challenge that they will be putting their mothers and sisters in drag and i love the makeover challenge it really separates the best from the rest and it shows who can be kind of like thrown into any type of environment and excel. 
because you have to do everything for the person that you have to put into drag and um i will always remember out of kind of like all of the drag makeover shows well one uh with um season five with uh oh my gosh what's her name um the winner of season five she put dave laura into drag this was the military makeover season where nebraska um nebraska thunderfuck was born why can't i think of this girl's name uh seattle gray gardens water off a duck's back i can't think of her name but i will always remember that episode because of jinx monsoon uh, putting Dave Laura into drag and Nebraska Thunderfuck being born. Uh, but also the season that Monet Exchange was on and she had her assistant Penny uh, to put in drag and uh, she went home because of the way that they looked. And it was so funny because she actually had a completely different outfit, but the outfit didn't work and so she put on this other outfit but um those two different makeover challenges always stand out in my in my head um and the makeover challenges are extremely stressful and so it really it kind of like brings out some of the worst in some of the contestants and i felt like baga was the most stressed out because one she had never done anyone else's makeup which there's certain tools every drag queen should have in her toolkit before coming on to drag race they all should know how to sew uh, they all should be able to use a sewing machine or construct an outfit um out of untraditional materials because you know you're going to have a sewing challenge you know you know you're going to do a makeover challenge so you should know how to do someone else's makeup so i was really shocked when uh baga said that and um it's really beautiful to see contestants with family members especially mothers and so i loved um seeing everyone interact with their mother or sister and so i thought that cheryl had an advantage because her sister actually is quite attractive also davina's sister uh, is very attractive and very pregnant which was really cool um that uh, there was i think the first pregnant uh, person to walk through drag race so that was really cool and you could really tell that the vivian is close with her mother um, it seems like her mother really helped her uh during her darker days with her drug addiction and so i really liked that and the vivian also said something that was really beautiful is that you know when you put on drag it feels like you're putting on a superhero costume uh because you can you're invincible you can do anything but you're also a person who is interested in helping other people and i do believe that drag queens have the ability through performance to help others um and because like drag at its core is comedy it's a man in a wig and so i have seen people who have you know had really horrible days and seeing a performance really lifts their spirits and so i thought that uh was a great quote and so uh, Rue does a walkthrough to see how everyone is doing. 
and Davina said that her and her sister were going to be angels. And when she said that, I immediately thought of myself, Michelle Visage and how she would basically clap back and say like, how many angels can we see on the runway? So I was really nervous for Davina. Um, and I thought it was funny that Davina was going to put on a red wig because of her previous conversation with the Vivian and the Vivian tell, telling her that she always wore red wigs. So uh, I thought that was really cute. Um, and so Baga um, still seemed nervous uh, talking with the Rue, but I felt that she felt comforted because it was a very pleasant conversation. And I, I think out of all of the people, I felt more nervous for Baga because Baga, I think she really relies on this like Liza Minnelli aesthetic that um, a lot of her looks have felt very Liza Minnelli. And I didn't know what she was going to do for her mother. And she kept emphasizing that her mother was shy and timid and so you can be shy and timid and still put on a great performance. Um, like there, there are certain drag queens who've been on Drag Race who they are very shy and timid out of drag, but they can wow and excite an audience. So we go to the runway. Rue has been pulling out these amazing looks. Like I remember for the previous All-Star seasons, I felt that Rue had some really beautiful looks that Rue really wasn't um, wearing during the main season. And I feel like Rue has gone in that direction and kind of like elevated her looks. Uh, she had on this kind of like plastic tutu pink ensemble showing off her legs the wig looked great the make makeup was impeccable um i'm not sure if raven was flown out um to the uk to do her makeup but her makeup during this particular season has been flawless and so i actually can't wait for season 12 to see if she continues uh, pulling out these amazing looks. Loved her. And so we start off with Cheryl and her sister, uh, Sissy Cole. And so they gave these kind of like classic blonde wigs. And I think it's called the Marcel wave. Uh, it's a knot, kind of like the 40s movie stars with these kind of like really beautiful waves um it stopped at her shoulders they had on fringe bodysuits and when i saw the bodysuit i knew that michelle would say something about it even though um the original costume the zipper broke on the beginning oh i hope you with the beginning of a good day for you well it's actually about to be midnight here. So I'm going to sleep in a little while, but thank you, I appreciate that. And so I I knew that Michelle would say something about the bodysuit, but I actually thought they looked cute together. Um, even though the bodysuits that they were fringed, they were different colors. Uh, Cheryl had on like a, like a white bodysuit while her sister had on like this maroon bodysuit. And then we had the Vivian. Uh, they both had blonde wigs. They were cute, but they were very different outfits. Like her mother looked very regal while the Vivian had on this kind of like um, mesh, body hugging, slinky gown. Then Davina and her sister came out and to match her sister, the Davina, had kind of like a little pooch on her stomach to look as if she was pregnant. And they did not have on angel wings. So I really love that. I'm glad that they didn't, they didn't walk out with angel wings. She had her and her sister on kind of like this like white mesh 
body suits uh, with stoning on the breaths and around the midsection. Very simple, but the hair was the same and the makeup was the same. And so they looked really good. It really reminded me of, um, I, for, I think it was season, the season with Pearl, when it was Pearl and Trixie, um, done up almost as kind of like child beauty queens very on point. So I love Davina and Davina and her sister were actually my top looks of the week on the runway. And then we had Baga and her mother. I'm not sure what Baga was thinking, but she had completely different hair from her mother, completely different makeup, completely different outfits. Uh, they seemed very awkward on stage together. And then Baga threw her mother completely under the bus. She basically said that it was her mother's fault, the reason why her mother looked that way. Um, and so it was just very uncomfortable. And so, oh, and then like Alan Carr said that um, Baga's mother looked like she was going trick-or-treating while Baga looked like she was going to go to a nice lunch. That was so shady, hilarious. Um, and so Davina was chosen as the winner, which rightfully so of this particular episode. So that means that Davina has three Rue Peter badges along with Baga and the Vivian, they're tied. And so the Vivian was considered safe which meant that Cheryl was in the bottom with Baga. And so I was really curious what the lip sync song was going to be because Cheryl is very high energy with her performances and Baga does not seem like a high energy performer at all. She seems like she does kind of like slow classic Liza Minnelli style performances. So a very slow tune was chosen. Um, the song was uh, by Amy Winehouse and I believe it's called Tears, Tears Cry. Um, and Baga really sold it for me in the performance. I was really nervous for her, but I felt like, I mean, this is a song that she, I felt that she performed this like every night of the week. Um, her body language was on point. Her hand gestures were on point. She didn't overdo it and actually thought that Cheryl might have done like a thousand death drops and she didn't. So I really appreciated that. But out of the two, Baga really sold it. Baga had on a kind of like an outfit that really went with the song. Um, she was really emoting. So I loved it. So we, we got to Rue's announcement and Rue stated that uh, Baga was staying and Cheryl was going home. And Cheryl had the best line of the night. She said that she's going down in history as the only Rue girl to make it to the top four with the worst track record. That was hilarious. And so I really liked Cheryl, but kind of like looking at statistics, uh, she didn't have any wins at all. She had a few, uh, she didn't have any like major wins. She did win a mini challenge. Uh, she won the Maypole mini challenge. Um, and I think she won another mini challenge as well. And so I think this is really cool. I think this might be kind of like the first time in drag history where th the top three have actually won three three main challenges so that is pretty cool and so i really want to hear who you guys want to win 
Drag Race UK. I, so tell me in the comment section, but I think the Vivian is going to win it. Kind of like all of the critiques that we've seen and what each contestant gives, the Vivian is more of what Rue and Michelle like to see in terms of aesthetics, in terms of presentation, and in terms of who they like to represent the brand. I think it's going to be the Vivian, but if it's not the Vivian, I think they will give it to Baga because Baga, um, sometimes they'll give it to um, the queen who we haven't seen uh, something, we haven't seen a queen like them. And I feel like Baga is very campy. And so even though we have seen campy queens who have, who have won, I think she represents that campy UK queen. And so she might get it, but I think the Vivian is going to win it all. So this has come to the end of the video. In the comment section, please let me know who you think is going to win. Um, either tomorrow or Saturday, I'm going to post another video. So some of you may know that um, last Friday, I went to a cosmetic treatment center to get cool sculpting for my abs. And I am loving the results. Uh, cool sculpting uses freezing technology to freeze fat in different parts of your body and uh, you'll see the most dramatic results in three months. Um, but basically, um, my stomach was completely frozen and um, it still feels like um, there's still pieces that are going to kind of like melt away. And so in three months, I will kind of like show you guys before and afters, uh, but I'm loving the results. I'm trying to change my diet. Uh, my weakness is desserts. I love desserts, uh, especially expensive desserts. And so um, either Friday or Saturday, I will post um, kind of like my, um, just kind of like one week of progress, which has been a lot. And so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Today is National Transgender uh, uh, Remembrance Day. Um, so I hope that you guys uh, were participating in different activities around the world. I went to an event after watching Drag Race for Remembrance Day. And so um, also remember that transgender people are the most vulnerable in the community. So protect them however you can. Until next time, have a wonderful day and love each other unconditionally. Until next time, besos. Bye.